Welcome to the Empire of the Rampant, and welcome back to my Principality of Serbia campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project mod from Evil 2. We're going to continue lift off from last time, where we're still slowly but surely trying to get to the last little bit of land we need to finish off this campaign. Which, we, we're switching up plans right now. We're, I'm trying to have it so we're focusing on pushing into the Holy Roman Empire right now. And I think this will work out really well. Um, can I actually just hit you right now? No, you're about to give up this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Because for right now, the Holy Roman Empire has been a pain in my ass. I'm just going to try and just kill them off. And hope that will allow us to have it so we have a far better section over here to control. Yes. Um, I do need to figure out what they control right now. Because basically we're going to be trying to just kill them off. And hope that basically this land will be easier for me to control. Um, oh, they actually took Verona. Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't notice that. Ooh, I can get additional body ground right here. So let's do this. I'm going to have you guys get some stuff. Chibuchet. I can get that in two turns. Okay, so I can actually try and have us. So we're going to get a little army over here, and I can take Verona. Yeah, so this is a perfect reason for us to want to go back over and deal with the Holy Roman Empire right now. Because for right now, trying to go all, going to the east, like, I'm going to lose this city again. I just know it. You, there's no way in hell you guys are going to hold the entire time. Like, you might. I'll try and get another priest over here to help with conversion. But, uh... The, the unrest and everything is just really bad, so I expect you guys to be really pissed off. So I feel like we're just going to lose it, and like this is the furthest east I can go before you guys start falling apart. Because um, I'm worried about the fact that for right now, like my allies up here are not doing the best. So we really just want to try and have it. So we just take six regions from somewhere, and then I go over here, take this last city. That's it. And I'm hoping that maybe... Like, I want this territory back, but I don't need it. Um, we could try and have it so we just avoid it. And for right now, just focus on the territory that the Holy Roman Empire has. Because they have... Where are they? See, they're, they're at eight. They're eight regions. Yeah, I'd have plenty of land from killing them. So if I take this, this, it's like one, two, three right there. That's three. That's half the land I need just from the Holy Roman Empire. So I am very okay about doing that. So for right now, just keep trying to retrain stuff around here. Uh, do keep focusing on getting more public order buildings wherever I can, because that's like the biggest thing in this mod is making sure people are happy. So let's go around and get more stuff. Uh, actually, you, I think, might just grab another unit around here to help watch over the territory. And then what else can I get? So, well, actually, might as well grab this. You don't need to grow this. To no, you do. Also gives more money, though, which I kind of want, but for right now. We're just going to ignore that. Um, what else can we get? So here, I definitely need to look like Poppy Govan. Need to get you guys that. Um, no, nah, yeah, we'll go with that. Go with the Poppy Govan for now. And is there anything else I want to grab for right now? Because I'm hoping, like, we're so close to finishing this campaign. I would love if we could finish it today, and then I can start the uh, constant, uh, the Carthage campaign next time. Because I, I'm excited for that campaign, especially because I think the elephants are just going to be so fucking fun to use. So I can't wait for us to start that campaign. It's just this mod is so difficult to control a lot of land all at once. So we'll have to just see how things go with the forces of us going into the Roman Empire. Because if I just take six territories from them, I can just have one little army. And actually, I go over here. Like if there's nothing in here and it's just this one dude, like I just leave you around yes. here. Um, I could just bring like a very small force with a trebuchet and absolutely destroy that. Like that is entirely possible. Alrighty, they're being the aggressive here. So, you're attacking me. Your army's not that crazy. Just a bunch of mercenaries, and that's the army inside the city. We've got a good force around here, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry too much. It's the bigger army that's attacking me. I don't think I'll be able to camp their other forces off the map, but I don't even think I really need to. My army's really good around here, and you guys just attacking me here is just going to guarantee we get the city, because, hey, they had one turn to sally out. As long as we win, we get the city. And then, uh, basically, like, we'll just keep trying to just gather more forces over here. Just keep blitzing any territories that I know the Holy Roman Empire controls. And technically, if they... If I only get a couple cities from them, um, we could probably have it... Oh, actually, no, I actually can camp these guys off the map. It's like horse archers. Actually, I'm gonna have my horse archers. Uh, you guys. I'm gonna have you just harass this force. Uh, and then I think I can have you guys... Because the enemy reinforcements should be over here. So you guys can go right there. Then all my melee cav back here. The enemy oh, actually, they're further. Damn. They hope to make okay. up Never mind then. Uh, I'll just steal. rotate you guys. Kind of rotate like here then. Right there. Right there. Guard mode. Scrunch mode off. Horse archers. 
get you guys to just get closer. Because, yeah, this army's not that crazy. And I'm actually going to be pretty aggressive, I think. Like, if I can get my cab over here, if I can surround you guys, and I can take you out, uh, I can... So many of these are mercenaries. Like, they, a lot of them will start running if I charge into them. So let's just try and see if we can stake out their general's bodyguard. Hey, you guys... I don't even need to worry about their skirmishers. Just charge into those skirmishers and they'll break. So like charge in there and there. And then I'll have you guys pull back in a second. Yeah, get a good yeah, initial General charge. He's dead. already dead? What? Holy shit, he died already? What the hell? Oh my god, what happened to you that you already died? Okay, ignore this guy for right now. Although maybe if you guys charge... Oh, I think they shot him. Actually, now that I think about it. He was standing right around here. Was it? Because they had that artillery piece in here. I don't. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, did you shoot him? Did he get gabed? He might have gotten gabed. Okay, you guys, yep, just start running these guys down. Because this, this, <laughs> the main army, the one that was actually gonna have a chance, just instantly had their general die. I think he literally got shot, shot by a cannon, which would be hilarious. So let's just have it so we can just keep charging in here. Should be able to just have it so that for the most part, most of the units are just running. If we just charge on in here with my horse archers and everybody, they should all start breaking. And the other army is even weaker, so like I'm not even worried. Now that we took this force out, we should be able to easily just run you guys down. So let's get all of these guys for the crossbows. Reinforcements, enemy reinforcements. Is that the captain in front? Yeah, it is. Well, make sure you shoot him. Yeah, he's only got like six guys. Or just attack him in melee. Is he already dead? Captain already dead. Uh, he hasn't died yet. Okay, melee cav. Let's see, what do you guys got to do? Um, there's still some guys over here. That captain should be dead. Is he not dead yet? Okay. Yeah, just charge here. Two-thirds of their army's already down. Uh, enemy reinforcements. That mainly be just you guys. So the horse archers go here. Melee cav. Let's go around. And kind of flank. Because these guys are already wavering. I don't know. I do not know what happened to their captain. We had to charge on in here. Horse archers. Charge into the spearmen. Yep. Broken. 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 Caught up like my units. Okay. Keep running those guys down. Where are we at now? So now... Just these remnants here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's the captain. Okay. For now, though, let's regroup with my forces. I might... I, I could probably just kill them all with just my cav. But for right now, let's pull back. If anything, just try and lure their captain over here to be able to kill him. Yeah, take him out now. Oh my... Yep, he's running. Let's see, yeah. Lure them back first over to my troops. Because I want you guys to be able to actually do something. So let's get them a little bit closer. Then we can start running into them once they are close enough to my forces to be shot at. Because at the moment... these like Okay, this army is technically better. There's just less of them in this force. The other army was just all, just all mercenaries. So my like cab back here. You guys kind of go a little bit further back. So we can kind of surround them a bit more. Over there. And then they are kind of getting ready to get in melee. Backing up. Let's see. Yeah, you're being shot at. Get in melee and then I can just charge into you guys. Or we can do this. You guys there. You guys here. Because they're wavering already. I just need to charge into you guys at the right angle. And we can take you guys out. So you go there. You go over here a little bit more. You can have like half of you guys charge in immediately. The other half go over here. We just need to cause a chain route. Like once they cause a chain route, the rest of this army is dead. Yeah, there we go. Over here. Broken. Uh, let's see. 87. I'll continue down a little bit more just for some more experience. Yeah, like this force is already dead over here, and this one was the one that was about to give up, anyways. So that's good. The enemy are utterly now, vanquished. One more city for us. That'll be a push in here now. Uh, basically, we'll just need to get some more troops to watch over the territory. And if I can just keep blitzing them, like I could see us finishing up today. I really could. Because I just need to have enough territories I think can execute. I just want the territory. Um, just sack it. Actually, I technically could have just, uh, tried to ransom to be nice. 
It's fine. It's fine. We're like 300 turns in at this point. If anybody uh, doesn't hate me already, like a small little thing like that's not going to change anything. I also just realized the way that I can actually be cheeky and win this battle, this campaign today. What I have to do um, is I have to double check over here first. Is the end. So yeah, we got riding over here, but hey, we're siege, so it doesn't make any matter. Um, we keep it the main front against the Holy Vampire, but there's a lot of territory around here that is very vulnerable. And I don't need to hold it for long. I just need to get over here and take it. So what we could do is technically, um, if I grab, it'd be trying to grab a full stack armor, but I need three trebuchets and about six units each. If I can do that, I can then just split up the armies I get and uh, send them over. So like, let's gather some forces around here. So we'll just grab men. So like get like one turn of recruitment here, one turn of recruitment here, one turn of recruitment here. Just grab a bunch of little guys that we'll be throwing together basically to try and get a force together so that we can try and get these guys just to just into basically 20 dudes, sail them over here, split them into three little groups of about six each, six to seven each, and just take three settlements in one turn. Like that, that that'd work. That would get me what I need. Um, so for right now, though, we just need to keep trying to take land also from you guys over here. Uh, you're going to be watching over here so I can watch over the city more. But basically, in two turns, you'll be able to get me a trebuchet over here. Although, technically... My lord. Uh, what kind of mercenaries are around here? Move are there none? There are no mercenaries. What the hell? Okay. So it'll take a couple turns, but we'll have an army around here to try and take Verona. Um, I do need to go back over here. So you guys... So what we need to do right now is... I was actually pretty happy for the most part with you guys here. Um, I'm wondering if I'd be able to move out of here. Well, try and get the better church around here. And then let me see if I can take... Um, these guys here. Take them out. And then I'll just bring you up this way. And then I need to just try and have it so we'll just keep getting more men around here to use as governors. So keep trying to add his garrisons, I mean. And then we can just try and use these guys as, like, I can take you out here for now. Move out. Put you in here probably. Is it going to be okay with it? Um, it's at 40%, 60%. So if I get this, you will be okay. And like, you're going over here now. This army then. Um, so I know this city up here. So let's merge men together. I'll probably bring you guys reinforcements. Because basically what I'll be doing is just keep making my way up, sieging these areas out as I bring other forces into position. So you try and do that. These guys will keep making their way over here. Grant, I know, needs to have as many guys as they do in here just to make them happy. Do try and keep recruiting. Honestly, a lot of my stuff right now is just going to be recruitment. I just need the troops to be able to keep pushing into my enemies. So as long as I have the troops to keep pushing into my enemies, I can win this campaign today. So let's just keep doing that. Uh, Freebrick also should get some stuff too. So you grab some more men here. Definitely grab me more archer, the horse archers, because they're the best unit we've got available for us right now. So we'll do that. Need to keep sieging this for four turns. I'll be making my way over to Prague. And then I literally just need, I just need six territories. God, I think I, I want to win today. I want to win this campaign today because I think I can do it. As long as you guys are happy this turn and you're fine, then I get like you guys over here to watch over. We'll be okay. And then like, I'll just start gathering together like you, um, do get me the better fleet. You be the one that gets me the fleet. Everybody else around here is going to be getting me the uh, the troops. So we need a stack of 20 that I can split up into three little groups. And then I'll basically just have it so we'll try and hit like these three territories, I think. Because those will be like the weakest, I think. So then we just need to take three territories from the Holy Roman Empire, which would be one, two, three. I, I, I can do this. I can do this today. As long as I don't lose this castle... If I lose this castle, I need to take one more city. Which, at the moment right now, it's rioting, which is great. But uh, they're not going to be able to win this siege, at least I know for sure. We also don't want to make sure that I forget about the whole fact of the Jihad. So I did get some more units around here uh, to try and help out with the defense. If you guys decide to assault us here, just so we have a little bit more in this area. I wish I could get a general's bodyguard in this area, but not right now. Okay, so besides that for right now... Oh, they actually stopped seeding me over here. Oh, hell yeah. That's... 
kind of good. Also, kind of not, because we need to make sure that you guys don't rebel around here, but sure. Um, let's just have it so that for right now, you guys just keep trying to repair anything that gives public order around here. So that's just negatives, negatives, negatives. So just repair the brothel. It gets it back up to 60%, but again, I'm kind of expecting to lose that territory. So we're just going to be trying to reclaim enough uh, outside of that. Yeah, let's just keep bringing yes. guys up here. Let's go here. Keep slowly but surely gathering those forces together that we're trying to have. Uh, you're a little upset over here. Let's just get another unit so you guys are okay. I think one should be fine. Let's go. You guys two there, just in case. Yeah, it gets it to 70. Okay. Then just keep gathering all of you guys here. Because we've got six units there. I do need to get another trebuchet at some point. I know you'll be able to get one in two turns. Um, other than that right now... Um, let's see. So you guys need to keep going in here to watch over this city. And then I'm going to have it so that, again, we need to keep getting more guys that are for upkeep to kill up over here. So keep sending some guys up there. I'll at least have you guys keep trying to grab some more spearmen around here for me. Or maybe around here. Because I can just try and have it so let's grab some guys. Make them move up this way. Because slowly but surely, we just need to make sure that these areas are going to be happy. So just keep trying to recruit more guys to help watch over. Ooh, I actually have a lot of Jones bodyguards yeah. here. Ooh, perfect. So I'll have you... Um, let's go gather you over in Zagreb. You can grab the troops over there. And then you're probably going to die soon, so we'll have you kind of stay. But then I can have these guys move forward. They'll help watch over territory. Um, let's see. Do you want to fight us? Leave your mercy behind, man. Now, if we, we do this, there we go. Yeah, these armies aren't that crazy. Yeah, let's take the. Ooh, this army's actually decent. Yeah, those those are some good units. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and camp those guys off the side of the map, possibly, and then we'll get over here to start sieging Prague. Because again, I think we can do this today. I just need to take uh, at least three cities over here, three cities over with the Fatimids. And if we just blitz them all at the same time, we don't have to worry about penalties. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's have it so... Oh, we're a little further away. Okay, let's group you guys up here. Archers group up. Infantry group up. There. There. You guys over here. You guys over here. The enemy are bringing in and then let's move up around over here. Melicap up to the side. And see, are they going to advance on me, or are they going to back off? They are going to back off. Well, hey, let's go kill their forces. So, everybody else just keep trying to advance on them, because I think we can just be aggressive, especially since they have some mercenary crossbowmen here that can die pretty easily. And then once we get in melee, um, we can then, or get in range, we can start just unloading on them. Um, I'm going to have you guys just kind of chill as you are, honestly. I don't think that's an issue. Yeah, 4% of the forces are already dead there. Horse archers just keep trying to run around the backside. You try seat. and focus on that feudal knight unit, because that is their captain. So if you kill him, then we should be able to just break them all. 16% yeah, are already dead. Yeah, some of the cav is coming on in here. Uh, let's try and pull back now. Taking a little bit too much damage. Yeah, pull back, pull back, pull back. Let my skirmishers do their thing. We don't want to be overwhelmed by these guys. So let my horse archers do their thing for a bit. As for right now, taking out a third of their army already. You guys just kind of go back up here a little bit more. I think these guys I should move up a little bit more so my normal archers can also try and help out. Okay, we've taken out one ca the captain now. So now we're just waiting on the other forces right now. So we're just going to have it so we're going to wait here. Wait until they get in range. My archers... Let's see, just get a little bit closer. Get a little bit closer. You can then start trying to unload into these guys. There you go. Do you have enough range hit the calf? Not at the moment. Okay, because we don't care about the infantry as much. So let's get a little bit closer. I want to hit these cav units if possible. Try and focus on the cav. There, there, there. My melee cav can win against you guys if we're careful about this. It's like you guys kind of just there and there. You charge in after you surround them a bit more. I'm going to go around. Don't lose my general. And you guys just all focus on this one unit together and you should be okay. Get archers... Let's get you three. Try and help out over here. Try and focus onto this spot. Half the enemy army's the dead. That's a lot of men, though. Because this is a good army. This is why I'm going to have to just keep trying to send in re reinforcements as soon as we can every single time with these armies. Because with me trying to be as aggressive as I am, I'm going to need a lot of troops. Yeah, like you guys need to charge into that spot in a second. Actually, try and charge into it now. Most of their cav is dead. 
So we got running. Other general's dead. Yeah, just run all these guys down now. We need to get the Magic 85. I want to make sure this army is destroyed. There we go. It's a 98. That's good. Yeah, two many casties. What like? I think that's okay, though. Because we'll start sieging Throg. Start sieging the city. And then, technically, I think we'll be okay. I'm a little low on troops, but I think we'll be fine. And then, just execute. There's, like, not much around here. If I wanted to, I actually could hit you. Oh, that's actually the Emperor. Um... Let me do this. Stand there. Now siege it. Now if you're attacked, you're on a bridge battle. So do that. Uh, let me see if I can get these guys out of here without them being an issue. Oh, you guys are pretty happy about that. Okay, so we'll try and send... Um, how many guys do you have? You only need four slots, actually. So let's leave behind these guys for right now. Because you... Actually, you can almost get over there. Just go to the, the bridge. I'll put you into this army next turn, and then we'll just keep trying to gather more forces over around here to keep trying to support you guys. You still need three more turns here for this city, and then it's next turn. You can finally get this. Now, I do wonder for this city over here. Uh, oh my god, how much of my money am I losing? A little worried about that. Um, if this is a two layer to three layer castle, because I get, did get a couple more guys. Riding up there. Mercenaries need payment. I know I'm going to lose this fucking city. I'm just actually losing money right now. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay, let's just move over here. Okay, because what we're going to do then... I think we should be fine. Seriously. You have that great of a chance. There's no way in hell. Uh, okay, we're going to do this ourselves. Push on in here. Take this. And I'm going to start just exterminating places, or whatever gives me the most money, at least. And I need to... No, it's actually... No, I know why. I've just been recruiting so much other crap, too. Yeah, no, that's why. Okay. Because I need to use these units. If anything, maybe I should just start sending my fleets out immediately. No, but if I take out my fleets before I'm ready with all the troops that I want to send over the Fatimids, they might garrison them, which I don't want. Okay, let's try and get rid of this fog. Come on, there we go. Get rid of the fog, and then I'll have it so, um, I have two units. Let's have you. Let's go over here. So right here, horse archers, group up. You guys are going to go over here, along with my cavalry as well. So I'll start the battle. You just start rushing on inside, and then we just need, we just need my horse archers and my cavalry, basically. Because if you guys can push on in here, we can easily take them out. So just kind of group up here, group up here. Just get the gates open for us and we can easily get inside and take the city. They just have two basic infantry units. I should take no casualties whatsoever for this city. And then I will get a little bit more money. And I need to make sure that we are a bit more proactive with the armies that I have right now. Because me trying to be very aggressive, it can work, but also it might be a bit of an issue financially speaking. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Yeah, so let's now, get you guys in here. I just need you guys to get inside, get the gates open, then we're just going to rush straight for the city center. I'll have it so that my melee cab, you'll probably be the ones that try and distract them um, from getting into the city center, and my horse archers will try and just sit in the city center itself. So get inside. Horse archers as soon as you can, just rush in. Come on, gate should be open under my control. There we go. So now let's go. So you guys just run on in here. Run on here. Melee cap. I'll try and have like run here and here. Just to delay them from getting inside. Honestly, I'm going to hope they just kind of maybe ignore us. And then I can just take the city freely. That'd be great. Uh, you should be aggressive. Help us out, my good sir. Yeah, so we just need to delay for three, three minutes. So we just delay for that amount of time. Melee cap. I might just have you guys just yeah, charge on in here immediately. Because yeah, you can just delay them long enough. They're probably not going to do enough damage to really matter too much. We just charge on in here with my melee cav. Hold them at bay. The battle is very much in our back a little bit. If we remain true and steadfast, yeah, like, no damage. Our men have Taking a little bit. One general. one minute left. They're already shaken. Come on, another forty seconds. I'm taking a little bit more damage, but this is not that bad. It's not as much as it could have been. 
the auto resolve probably would made me lose like a couple hundred guys. I lost all 20, so that, that's fine by me. So now we have Prague under our control. Then, let's see, do I want to hit the other city that I'm sieging already as well with the Holy Roman Empire? Hmm. Maybe? Because like this area here, Prague. Yeah, if we do this, I can do 12k. And then... Oh, that's a Polish army there. Okay. So you can join in here with us. This area here. So we at least now have money again. Trade it to our people. Ah, oh, dude. I was just getting you into that fucking... Okay. You go over here. Let's see how many of you do I have right now. So... Got those two. Go here. You're okay. I'm gonna bring these two over as well. It's half a stack. Trebuchets will be done next turn. It's at least two of them. Um, I could just move them out now. Let's see, faction destroyed. Two factions destroyed, same turn, holy shit. And yeah, you guys are sieging us here. Um, again, I'm expecting like this area to rebel. I lose a lot of money over that. Just also these guys, like, I'm gonna merge you guys together. Um, try and merge them together. Try and retrain. Can't really recruit anything. Actually, no, I can get a spy to help with conversion. So you can try and do that. If we lose the territory again, then I'm just gonna give up on it and there's no reason to try and hold it. I'll probably just then like bring you guys back this way and I'll try and throw you at the problem that we have right now. Um, ooh, you guys have like nothing here. Let's see. Uh, I can wait two turns. Five regions. I know right here. We're grabbing some guys. Let's have you. Uh, I'm just gonna start sieging this area because why not? I know it's gonna be uh, a bit until I can get the. No, I can start it now. So we can start trying to get a trebuchet this turn. It'll take us three turns. Eh, you guys might sally out before then, possibly. Other than that, right now, I need to make sure that if anything. Oh, where is he? He's right here. So you go there. Let's see how many of these guys I can take out. Uh, let's see if a couple of them. Just so they're a little bit happier. You make your way up here. I'll basically have to see you guys wait around here to be able to see what you can do to get up here to try and help with uh, watching over this territory for us. We've got a spy to help with conversion. And then for the most part, like these guys eventually will be trying to make their way up and they'll be making their way forward to try and help out with watching over this territory. So we do two turns for you, about three for you. We only need five regions. We're so fucking close. We're so close. I've got at least this force here. That's half a stack. It's not a, It's not the full stack that I want to, but... I don't need much to take this stuff. And we could also just hit one, hit one... Hit one again. Yeah, we might have it, so I think I'll actually have, like, you... Back up here. Might have it so we do maybe one more turn of recruitment. And then be done. Because we don't want to have too much. We don't want to recruit too much and then bankrupt ourselves. Oh, God, it's still the red. Oh, God. I don't even think I had any mercenaries, actually. It's been a while since I used any. So I don't think I did. Oh, wait, no, if I remember correctly. Um... They consider those archers of mine mercenaries. So I did technically disband some. Man, That's okay. Yeah, you're still pissed off over here. God damn it. Oh, okay. So many areas are upset. See, right now you... Okay. I think I need to assault the city this turn. Because for right now... Got you guys over here. I can't actually assault you. I want to take Verona, but I can't right now. If I wait until the turn end, I'm still technically making money, so I think we might be okay. Cause like you go over there, I just need to stop recruiting stuff. Let's see how many of you guys can get out of here. Pretty much all of you. I'll believe probably like these guys behind maybe though. And the rest of you, uh, start making your way up here. Help with garrisoning the area, and then 
right now at least. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stop that recruitment. I think we should just go now. So you guys make your way over here. I'll pick you up with this. It's not the full stack army I wanted, but it, I think it's good enough. We can at least take two cities. So let's have you set sail. Try and make your way over here. Try and get over to this area and see if we can take those two territories. Um, this area is also pretty vulnerable too. So we could have it so that like maybe if we get more men, like you guys. Like, I actually think, uh, let me have this uh, fleet set sail and make your way over here because I am expecting to lose this territory. So if we lose it, I want to pick that army up. They already have a trebuchet so I can bring them along with us. And then I can try and make my way over there. Because this area is just... <sighs> Actually, if we're about to lose it anyways, maybe I should just destroy everything in here. Yeah, fuck it, let's do that. That way I know I'm guaranteeing that I know I'm going to be losing this. So let me now just... I'm just going to pull my forces out. Let me just leave behind you two. Um, then just move out. I'm going to lose this area. These troops I'm going to try and uh, take back with me. And have it so that we can just turn my way around to go get to other fronts, basically. So, hey, this fleet's going to make their way over there. I'll try and pick those guys up. Gets me a lot of money now, so I can at least use that for other things. Like, I know over here, I need to get you guys to be a little bit happier. I need to try and get... Is it... It's mainly just unrest is a big chunk of that. It's mainly because of the city stuff. So that's why I want to try and make sure if we're taking land, I need to be taking it quickly. If anything at all, I can get more general's bodyguards around here in some of these cities, at least. To have more governors. I know, like, you guys are struggling here. If you can, try and train more men around here. I can have any more units that are free upkeep, but I can at least move oh, some of you over here to make sure that that area is happy. Fucking, they're attacking here. Mm, they've got both armies. I'm gonna hope we're okay. Uh, if this is a three layer castle, I think we're pretty oh, pretty okay. It just depends if it's a two layer or three layer. I know it's at least two. I know it is at least two layers. I think it's three. And we. Did finish Bliss Towers right here, right? I could have sworn I did. And I have my better troops, so hopefully we'll be able to hold. I'm a little concerned about the quality of their army and my guys just breaking instantly. So we'll have to see if we can hold. Because if I can, this would be great. Let's see, this is two layers, yep. Okay. So let's get my guys to back up here. I want to try and have it so. I'll put you guys up here. Because you're decent in melee, they might try and run up there. But they might not also. Then I'm going to try and have you guys. Try and get lined up here. Okay, some of you guys are being stupid, so I'll have to adjust you guys. So let's just do this. So there, there, there. That's you guys. Then all of you. There, there. There, and there. Then make sure you have skirmish mode off. Guard mode on. And then let's get you guys up in the... Right here... Actually, no, let's do this. I think it'll be better if we do it like this way. Because they're, they're probably going to rush in no matter what we do. Uh, I'll send and get some of my infantry up here to try and hold it if they bring any ladders up. So I just get up here. Like, what? Four of you? Four of you there. rest of you down on the ground right here. And then basically, make sure all my infantry has guard mode on as well. Captain, just be like right back here trying to give some rallying cries for my forces. But basically, I want to keep you out of melee. And then I think I'll let you guys be on fire at will. We need to get as much damage as we possibly can. I hear the ladders. Let's see how you guys can hold. Right, you guys hold off on your ammo right now because this area is not the best to shoot out of. Uh, over here, though, and I guess using wasting a lot of ammo. I've only killed 1% of their army, so yeah, cease fire for right now, guys. Cease fire. Wait until they start blobbing out more. Uh, we should be fine in the walls, though, I think. These guys... We do have bull Towers. I don't know if it's going to be enough to destroy their... Um, it's going to be enough to destroy their ram. But at least we're the shot. You guys are at least shaking right now. So if you guys can just immediately destroy these guys, that'd be great. Uh, the archers are holding well enough. Some of, them, some of them are breaking. Okay, if you guys can keep that up... Like, we have Bullet Towers. That's going to do a lot more damage already just from us having that. And I just need to wait until you guys get in position. Yeah, there we go. As long as you guys can hold here and get, like, a nice big blob formed around here, I can do a lot of damage with my archers. All right, so here they come. So the gates are down. Hopefully my forces can hold. Do you guys have... I wish you guys had shield wall. You sadly don't. 
Okay, at this point in time now, until my guys start opening fire, as we're going to be trying to open fire into this section. Because if we can just hold you here and they don't just force their way through us, we can do some good damage with my skirmishers. Because I've taken out 11-12% of their army so far. Skirmishers keep firing, infantry's holding the best they can. I don't know how you're fighting somebody. You're way the hell back here. So just keep holding what you guys can. 10% already dead. Off to a good start. There we go. I see the general's bodyguard ever. I'm targeting him. Because for right now, I just see a ton of fu Oh, bodyguard. Bodyguard, bodyguard, bodyguard. Bodyguard. Okay. Target the bodyguard. Keep holding men. Keep blasting the horn. Let's see if you guys can keep holding this. That's 11 to 18 right now. So if you guys can keep holding, we can do this. It's just I'm worried about my basic spearman like breaking because of shitty morale. But if you guys can take out that general's bodyguard, we might be able to hold this. Because number wise, it's it's currently doing well. Or holding at least. They forced their way all the way to my goddamn captain. Fuck. Um you guys are actually being still attacked on the walls here. I'm actively having you just keep spamming the horn. So taking out a third of their army so far. God, I don't want to lose the city. But if we lose the city instantly on the first battle, then the jihad's going to end. It's like, I just need you guys to... I need to take out that general's bodyguard. Where is... Ah, there goes my captain. I am expecting my men to break now. Oh, where the fuck is that cap? That general's bodyguard. I fucking lost track of him. God damn. Yeah, I'm expecting my men to break as soon as I unpause. Yep, <laughs> look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, just look at that. It's disgusting. Lord, be merciful. We have lost half of our men. Holy Father, say yep. enemy good news. The enemy is no longer in command of the castle. I tell for a miracle now. Because you guys are still up here. Uh, but as long as they're capturing the city center... Yeah, you guys are going to lose this. Damn it, we almost held this. <sighs> well, I will just have to make up for it by taking a different city. As long as they don't continue attacking us uh, around this area. Because that's maybe what will bring the army from uh, that one castle in the east for. And bring those guys back around here. Or we can just go pure aggression. I literally recruited as much as I could around here. But damn it. So there's one save we lost. Just need a little bit more. I just need a little bit more land and we win the campaign. I think we can do it today. I'm being very reckless, but I think we can do it today. If they're attacking any of those other cities, they're fucked because they don't have enough to really defend them. But the, the Jihad's over now. So they can't do that anymore. So we'll just have to try and see if I can just counterattack and take more land back. Because again, the one great thing is that the, the territories that I want to take from the Fatimids are all really close together. So you're attacking me here, but that you're selling out. And uh, that should be absolutely a slaughter on our end. So yeah, we'll fight this ourselves quickly. Just because I should minimize my casualties, I shouldn't really take any damage at all. This will be another city for us here. I know there's at least one more city uh, north of Prague that I can go for with the Holy Roman Empire. I'm attacking Verona right now, but I just need that artillery piece so I can actually assault the city. My fleets are about to start, they're starting to make their way over to the Fatimids. Because we're going to just try and take as much land again as I possibly can from the forces of the Holy Roman Empire. That way we don't have to take nearly as many from the Fatimids, and I just need literally like one city from them. So as long as I can get like one city, then hey, we still win the campaign as long as it's the one city I need from them. As long as we don't lose too many others. So for right now, get everybody in position. I think we're just going to be unloading on them in, uh, with my ranged units. So they got some cav. That's a little bit of a concern. But I think it should be okay. I'm just going to have to, like, you guys drink around the side here. Try and get in position to be able to kind of flank a little bit. It's like right there, right there. Actually, you guys should maybe just charge into this feudal knight unit. Try and shatter the enemy army. 
They've lost only 12% of their army so far, which is kind of a little bit lower than I was expecting, honestly. Our men have slain the go with the general general. dead, though. Are you guys start lose breaking. Yeah, a good chunk of you are already. Yeah, these guys are routing. Now it's going up faster. There we go. Just shadow them all. We don't care about uh, killing them all. Let's get this guy. Break him. I think you're the last one that needs to break. Come on. No, they got back to the city center in time. Damn it. Okay. But the gates are open, so I can just walk on in with my cav. Run these guys down. 84% are dead. Yeah, so just make your way in here. Keep running these guys down. Come on, come on, come on. Because I don't want them to get back to the city center where they actually have stuff. So you go to the general's bodyguard. Kill him. Take those guys out. Finish them off, and then we'll be done with the battle as soon as you finish killing everybody. There we go, you almost done? There we go. Yeah, only 100 casualties there. So there's one more city for us now. That makes up for the one city we just lost. I almost wonder if I might just randomly start a war just with uh, the Norwegians, just because, just so I can actually have a little bit more land. Let's, let's uh. They must fear us now. Let's just sack it. Gives us more money. And at least these areas up here do make me a lot of money. Their doom has befallen yeah, so now I'll try and have it so we'll move up from Praha. Try and have it so we can move up from Praha, go up north to the city that they have up around there. Then I can always try and take that one territory from the Mongols if I need to, because this borders me. It's right next to me, so I could take that too. We mainly just need to get over to Jerusalem. That's the main thing. We need to get over to Jerusalem because that's the one city we need to take. So as long as we can get to Jerusalem, then we just need to figure out how many other settlements we need to get to the final goal. We're so fucking close. Honestly, I think we might go along with the idea of like attacking the Mongols. At least that one city that borders me. Because um, it also would just make my borders look nicer if I took that one. That that wouldn't be a bad idea. Honestly, I think if as long as I just make the the battle the video today a little bit longer than normal, we're winning the campaign. I think we can do it by the normal time, but just in case, I think I just need a little bit more to be able to properly take up what I need. Because at this point in time, I need just five regions. I need five regions at this point in time. I right, will take that. I don't know how this hasn't failed yet. I'll need four because of that. Ah, uh, use your pistol over here again. Um, let me repair all that. And then try and recruit troops around here. Are there mercenaries? Yes. Yeah, there are. So grab the mercenaries just so we have more men in this area. That's like you up to 60. Repair everything. You should be fine then. Because it's, yeah, those cities are right there. It's going to take about four to five turns here. And then you are making your way over to try and grab this force. Because again, I'm expecting it. Like, we're just going to lose there. I'm just going to abandon it. And then we'll pull you guys back. Um, let's do inspection. Put some more stuff up. Uh, I got another Jones bodyguard over here, though. So you... Uh, I'm going to try and put you over here. I think they need a governor. Yeah, they do. So go right there. And then I'll see. So you... Let's see, you should be able to move back here. Uh, lower the taxes, then they should be okay. That's about to finish up. This... Oh, my God. Why did I not repair that? Um, should be okay. I'll get this next turn. Um, and then what we need to do is you. I will make them fear you. Where is this city? We march. So we shall spot the enemy before they spot yeah, it's us. Brenna. And they have another city over here. So they have this one too. So they have Breslau. Can I move out of here too? That that's a Mason skilled. Does it give happiness? Um, let's see if I move out of here. Get marching, orders, my king. If there was a nah, party, no your will shall be obeyed. Is orders, it enough? It's zero. So no. Even if I try to grab a couple oh, guys, no. it's not going to be well, enough. So you have to you have to sit in here for a little bit. It's conversions the biggest issue. So if we just start trying to convert them, then we'll be okay. We're trying to get there. Yes. I think then we'll move you up this way then. Forward, your will shall be obeyed. And then is there anybody... Let's see. 
There's nobody outside of it, but I can start sieging this this turn. That's another one. Um, next turn I can get that trebuchet, so I can take Verona. As long as you guys don't rebel. Just in case. I'm just gonna do this. So grab you there. That should be okay. And I'm not even gonna try and reclaim that territory. It's basically just waiting on you to get over here and to see how much damage you can do. Because if you can take like three territories all at once, that would be plenty. Also, love that these guys take me a solid. So because they're sieging this territory again, um, I am able to have it so I get to hold on to that for a little bit longer. I'm not going to build that there. Uh, and if it's Dynasty for the Bisons. And then is that fleet of mine almost here? Trio is attacked. Oh my god. Trying to grab it. Yeah, you guys are being a little pissed off. But you're doing way, way better now. So that's fine. Um, but back over here. Yeah, okay. Because I need you. Grab these guys. You start setting sail for here. Yes, my lord. And then, for the most we part right now, no you guys are still sailing. I just need three more turns. Three Set more turns down. over here. We'll then be able to drop Take off and hit the territories away. we need. I can now... Board. Let's see, are there mercenaries in here? Mark. None. Forming one let's see. I've got a decent garrison there. Let's see, I'm going to just keep sieging for right now. I can keep starving them out. And then... Oh, for a moment, I'm like, wait, did my guy rebel? No, thankfully he did not. Okay, now here... You don't have that great of a chance, my dude. You don't. I can keep sieging for a little bit longer, though. Yes. Because I know for right now, it's all tied to Jerusalem right now. If we don't have Jerusalem, it doesn't matter what cities I have. So I can keep sieging stuff. I could try and keep assaulting and be a bit more aggressive, but I think we need to hold off for right now. Because at the moment, I'm at 35 regions. This would be 36. This would be 37. Uh, as long as we hold this, we'll keep that. And then I need three over here to get me to the 40. Because I know, like, you guys are setting sail. It'll be three turns for you. Uh, this fleet right here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turns. Uh... Can we eight turns, maybe? God damn it. <laughs> Technically, this is a three-layer castle. They might actually not be able to win this fight, so we're going to fight it, because why the hell not? So as long as they don't do anything else, like using the ram, technically I live, and I win, and I get to hold this a little bit longer. I actually want them to technically keep sieging this area, because the longer I get to technically control this territory, the better. Or at least we're doing more damage, but still, no. Unless they somehow just don't take the city center. The battle's almost over. Here they go. There they attack my troops now. Damn it. We'll have to get a different city then and replace with this one then. We're so close. This shit keeps happening like this. I was just hoping that if this city would have actually held for its public order and it wouldn't have hated me, it would have been so much easier to be able to like actually defend this area. I really should have gone for Holy the Holy Empire sooner. Because the territories over there are actually happier. Yeah, almost. Almost won that. But yeah, we were going to lose this area anyways eventually. So now I just have to reclaim it. Or not reclaim it, I mean just to reclaim a different city in place of it. I think I am going to be attacking them Mongols. Because they have that one city right next to me. Yeah, so we lost that because I, I was expecting that. I hate that they're also attacking me more in... Uh, in, um, oh my god, and, and oh my god, in Asia Minor, in Anatolia more right now, some siege there too. Because let's see. So, I'm currently at 34 regions right now because I lost that one. Let's see. Your will shall be okay. Can I do night battle? Your I cannot do night battle. Coming, my so, and that's the I case then. It's actually you probably better. Oh yeah, it's, it's so much better. Desert. Just please just don't run. And he ran like a bitch. I, would have the job. I was hoping he wasn't going to run. <sighs> okay. Um, you guys won't be able to leave you here just yet. Coming, my Your will shall be obeyed. That siege there. Grab these guys. Let's see. Leave your mercy behind, nah, it's still shit. Uh, six more turns to siege that. I don't want to siege them for six turns, though. I just have to assault that. Portugal is actually the largest faction right now. Interesting. Okay, well, at this point in time, my forces are almost over... Where are they? 
Where's my fleet? Uh, here it is. You just need two more fucking turns, guys. Two turns there. This one. Because yeah, you guys are sieging me here. I have a good, decent army in here, so hopefully you guys maybe won't succeed, succeed there. But, like, I don't want to fight that. Oh, you guys are actually really weak there. Ooh, actually, I might be able to take it back. Yeah. I actually might be able to, because... Wait, where'd that fleet of mine just go? I just saw them. Uh, I'm blind. I was going to say, I can try and grab some more men to get over to them, to get onto the uh, army. Because if the gate's open, I can just take this city back easily. That would not be bad. I know you guys, you're still going down here because I need to get over to Jerusalem. I'm going to help we hold here. Ah, God damn it, guys. I'm just so fucking close. Like, if I can siege you guys out, this area I should just assault next turn, because I was hoping I was just going to lure you guys out. Well, just bodyguard. Perfect. All dev oh, cannons just finally were developed. Oh, you guys are riding over here. Okay, they fucking stopped at least. Thank you. Okay. I do think I'm going to start trying to get some troops over here ready, though, to possibly try and hit uh, this city if I have to, to get one more settlement for us. Uh, for right now... Actually, they pulled back away from Enkidah. Perfect. Okay. Let's keep pushing over here. That's an area I'm not at war with right now. So next turn, I'll be able to try and drop off and hit these two territories. My fleet... There. So you guys keep making your way over down around here. And actually, I know I remembered I had these guys that I was recruiting. I am going to grab you. Because I might be able to go reclaim my castle with how many spies I've got over there. So I have you. I'll go here. They've got one guy in there right now. Um, and I mean, the spy is nearby. Actually, if you can just go over here. You might be able to test it next turn, because that's roughly when you guys will be there. If I can get those gates open, I need to reclaim the city. I can just do that. Um, other than that right now... Okay, so back over... I really just need to fight these damn battles. If I fight these battles, there's no way in hell that I wish we'd lose these fights. Oh, they actually moved. But still, it's a two to one per chance. I think it's fine. Just take it. Just, just, just take it. Take that. Brenna's down mine. And then Stetton there. Let's see, because that gives me up to 35 regions once again. You just need to keep trying to repair this stuff. Try and get the chapel to be able to convert around here. Get some spies. And then I know this area... 65%. I mainly need to convert this area. That's the biggest thing for you, and I do at least have this. I just need to get spies in this area to try and help convert it. You guys need to get some more public order stuff around here. So keep trying to grab that. Uh, I can't get any spy. I'm actually at my spy limit right now. So we can't do that. Over here, though, I think I might get enough of you guys. I'm able to just auto resolve this. So you guys should not have this big great of a chance here. Uh, did I actually build siege equipment, or is it just the artillery pieces? No, I do have siege equipment. Okay, let's quickly fight this. This will then get me up to 36. And then next turn, we get to see... Do I have enough? Or am I able to get all the cities I need next turn? I might be able to. I might be able to, if I am fucking lucky. I'm gonna hope I am. Let's see, let's start development. This is a 2 or 3. This is... Oh, it's fuck, it's three. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I built, built a siege equipment. Okay. Let's get you guys up here. Start the battle. Start rushing forward. I'm going to actually hope that they fight us outside here on this lair. Because this lair right here, there's not a ton of them. If I can just get on in here and fight them outside the third lair, uh, then we can just have it so we can win this fight here. Let's get you guys to drop your stuff there. Uh, should probably have to rush you over here too. Because those are pretty basic spearmen. I will have it so... I can have you keep your thing. You can make your way forward. Start trying to make your way through the gates. And then most of the, all the troops are out here. So infantry here. Get up onto the walls. Start trying to push on in here. See, this is like just like a couple dudes here. So I'm not too worried about you. Um, trebuchet, can you just try and hit this gate? You might be able to break it from all the way back there. Because you're making your way up. You should be able to win against those spearmen. This other spearman's making their way over to try and join you guys. You're almost about to be uh, disembarking off the siege tower. So that way we can 
push on in here, try and just get the gates open. So just rush over this way. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now I can get my cab in here. Got my melee cab in there. Get my horse archers to try and run in here as well. Honestly, just rush in melee with them as well. All at once. 7% are dead. Wait, are they out advancing out to attack me? They are. What the fuck? Why? Why are you guys... Okay, just, just rush over here, guys. Rush on into melee. There is oil. Which I don't appreciate. Got more men making their way forward. Push on in through them. Come on, just push past them. Get to this male knight unit. Just run past the oil. So we don't take so much damage from it. Trebuchets are trying to break down the gates there. You guys just keep taking out the cavalry. They've lost a fourth of their army already. Most of them are on the walls right now. Not exactly what we want. But yeah, you just keep trying to break down this gate here if you can. Uh, you try and make your way forward to get there as well. If we're able to, Melikav, keep trying to chase these guys. See if we maybe get into the third layer. Our men are winning the battle. Come on. If we continue like this, already. we smash the enemy. Yeah, stay around here. Slowly start bringing in that ram. Okay, so some of them are starting to get off the walls. Yeah, they're starting to get off the walls, start attacking these guys. Yeah, I can run over here. They take the gates back. Yeah, they did. Okay, so we have to get my cab back over here. Come on, guys. What is taking you guys so long? Oh, you're being stupid. That's why. Come on, guys. Get over here. Over here, over here, over here. I don't know what the hell you guys are fighting. Okay, took a bit more damage, but hey, we're now almost to the final layer. Uh, they're not in the third layer right now, so I'm just going to have my Cav try and just kill the General's bodyguard, because he's the only one left. So once he dies, we'll have the city. <sighs> then we're almost done with this campaign. We just need a couple more cities. Like, it, this this campaign is not enough to warrant, like, another uh, video, basically, it feels like. I can finish it today. I know I can. I just, if it depends on next turn. Next turn, if I am able to get my spies into the city and reclaim my old castle, I should have enough to be able to take all the stuff I need in the next video. Next turn. Maybe the turn after. But it's so close. It's so close. Come on, game. Just please give it to me a solid with this. Because there's Verona now under my control. Territory. Of the stuff, get this. Uh, yeah, that's got up border from that, so yeah, you should be okay. Uh, get a spy here to help with conversion and stuff. And then I just have to hope I don't lose anything, basically. As long as we don't, we should be okay. And then for right now, it's just again, you. If you guys can get in here, I have a spy. If I can get in there, oh man, maybe I should have grabbed you. Actually, my lord. Oh, no, I don't know. I was going to say, if I had... I could pick up all these spies. I could send them over there, but I don't have them right now. I don't know. You're dropping off next turn. So I should be able to take these two for sure. So then I don't have enough movement to take you two. <sighs> There's each other again. Okay. But. I can start dropping off. So. First and foremost, we're going to take this city first. Because I know this one's going to be the hardest. <sighs> oh, you guys are fine. They say they riot and they stop. Okay. Over here, grab mercenaries, just so we have as many men as possible. Should be fine. 18 casualties, good. Uh, exterminate, just so immediately they're happy. And then, um, do this. Move over here. Grab the trebuchets. Hit the city. There we go. Another one. Exterminate, just to make sure that they're happy. And then, I just need two territories. I don't think you guys have enough movement to get down here. But as long as you guys hold for this turn, I might just be next turn is when I can do this. Let's see, because... Uh, did I... Oh, the motherfucker rebelled. Oh, god damn it. Okay. What's with you guys, then? Please. Gates open. Yes, they are open. Okay. Now, that's one city. Um... <laughs> um yeah <laughs> i'm thinking about that 
Uh, what's in the city? That should be fine. Yes. I just hate that that one unit of mine rebelled. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Right there. Yes, Lord. Confronting the enemy. As long as I win this fight, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing in this campaign this turn. Oh god, it's almost there. I'm just gonna betray Pisano. <laughs> Fuck it. Like, why not? It's the last city I need. So I will just betray them, take that little one city from them, and there we go! F 40 settlements. Because this game, I fucking hate it sometimes. Let's get on up here. Start the moment. Um, let's see. Actually, I should have... You run away over here. So we gotta be careful about how we do this. So if you run all the way around. It is a multi-layered castle. It's only two layers. I'm gonna kind of help you guys go to the final layer and then I can just shoot you. Which kind of seems to be the case. So, Melly Cav, run on up this way. Horse archers, I can get you back over here. I was worried that I was gonna have to like try and shoot around them or something. Or go around them. But no, make your way forward here. This is some light cav. They've got their archers there. I should be able to win against those guys. Uh, the nose bodyguard is this one here. So he's the heavy bodyguard. Let's see. I keep trying to run over this way. Horse archers. You'll be trying to do as much damage as you can. Ah, uh, they're just gonna start shooting us. Yeah, start trying to run in there and shoot them. My horse archers trying to return fire. Yeah, because against the archers, that shouldn't be an issue. You should win against the archers in melee. I'll try and shoot the general's bodyguard. Like this, so, the those light cab units we should win against. It's the bodyguard that we're concerned about. Although, maybe we don't even need to kill him. Because if you guys win against these guys, if you beat the archers back with minimal casualties, which so far you have, and if we can win against you, we might just, like, sit in the city center and just capture it. That's my hope. But also, it might just be beneficial just to make sure I, like, try and get on in here, shoot for a bit. Yeah, get my horse archers in here as well. Just try and push past. And then just get on up here. Shoot who you can until you're out of ammo. Ideally, anybody, really. Light cap, if you take them out, then we can reduce the amount of damage we have to just deal with in general. Yep, and then they're gonna charge us. Now start fighting them in melee. You should win this fight. 50% of the enemy's dead. Steadfast, come on, as long ours. as we win this fight here, I finish this campaign this turn. Only okay, you're good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Four searchers. Now shoot the general's bodyguard to death. Just, just shoot him until you're out of ammo. He's gonna fight us outside the, in the city center. Fuck! My lord, only half of our men have fought long and are becoming tired. Curses. Don't break, 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 don't break. Game, I swear to God. Game, I swear to fucking God. Our enemies have snatched victory from us like thieves in the night. <laughs> I just need one more city. I just need one more city. Is there anything that's nearby? The gates are almost. It's. Where to? Holders, my king, my lord. Yes. Oh, wait. Wait. No, I can do this. If you don't run. So we have to be... Right there. Move out. Your will shall be obeyed. And right there. Holders, my king. Yes, bringing don't our fucking run. Thank you. Okay. Now, I just have to win this. Win this fight. Then be addicted to Visana. Then I win. Because god damn it. Oh my god, this campaign. Note to self. Don't do a world conquest ever in this mod. Never, ever, ever do a world conquest in this mod. Because it will be hell.
absolute hell. <laughs> no matter what happens, it will be hell. Uh, these guys are crap. I think they'll be fine to just charge at with my melee cav. I'm actually kind of hoping they'll be aggressive against me. It's like, you guys just go over here, you guys go over here. And then just charge these units. As long as we get the Magic 85, we win this. And then we can just make sure we take the city. So get back up again. Back up again over here. And then just hit this other guy. The enemy are there we go. They have lost half now, Look how are you going to advance? You have no spears. I mean, you have no skirmishers, I mean. So I'm just going to start walking across the bridge and just going to shoot the Our shit out of you. Have captured the enemy general. Guard walk across or I shoot you all to death. That, 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 that's the only option of what's happening here. I'm just going to walk across the bridge and I'm going to shoot you all. Because I just need... I, I already killed the army that was in the city. Now I just need to take you guys out. If you want to walk across the bridge, fucking go for it. I'm just going to shoot you. Uh, primarily, who's the general's bodyguard? Should mainly focus the cav. Yeah, the general's bodyguard right there. Focus him down. Focus him down. And then everybody else doesn't fucking matter. As long as we take out the cavalry. Uh, let's make sure you don't chase. Yeah, walk across the bridge if you want to. I'll be ready to bring my melee cav over here. Because I want to fight you guys. I want to make sure I take you all out. The force archers just kind of run away. Back up. Back up, back up. Run away, run away. Yeah, because they've lost 46% of their army. Some of them infantry's coming across. Some of the calves coming across. You should win with my guys. I just don't have my general there. Because I don't want him to die and make sure everybody breaks. There you go. What the fuck is going on here? The battle seems to How be the in our favor. From such hiding, does victory emerge? Did you die? Oh my god, game. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash. It's Only okay. half the enemy force it's okay. remains. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna win. I just have to shoot them all again. Melee Cav, back the fuck up. Force archers, again, focus on the melee cav, the melee cav. If I kill all the melee cav, we win. Doesn't matter if my general's dead, I can just run through all the infantry. I kill the general. Stop, stop running into them guys, just shoot, shoot them all. Wait until they start running to you. Back up. Just back up. Chase me, chase me, chase me. Come on, get run across the bridge. There you go. And then now run. Now as they're turning their backs against us. Yeah, because 70% of them are dead now. I still have a lot of men. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So you guys should win this fight against these guys. Yep, they're running. And we just have to make sure we kill all the cav because we are worried about getting magic 85. Okay. Oh. He's dead. Uh, continue trying to run them down if you can. I think we captured enough, but just in case, try and run down a couple more if you can. So I have lighter calves, we might be able to. That should be fine. Okay. Now. I think that's it. I think that's all we needed. It's just that one little bit, and then we're done. Because I'm just literally going to betray Poseidon. I'm just gonna betray them and take one of those cities. Okay. Yeah, I capture Jerusalem. I don't care. Get me. Get, let me do my thing. Okay. Now. I need one region left. And that is. I'm gonna be doing it by being a dick. So, um. You guys go here. Yep. <laughs> I don't care. It's, oh, I don't actually fight it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> this is one way to end a campaign is through absolute betrayal of my allies. That works. That works. That works. But hey, we'll now get to finish this campaign up today. And I will be able to start the campaign as Carthage in the next, uh, next time. So, for now though, uh, Trebuchet, please just don't run out of ammo.
I, I will fucking rage quit <laughs> if you run out of ammo and are unable to get us into the city. Let's go like over here, have my cab over this way, start the battle, and then just please, for the love of God, don't run out of ammo. Just please hit the gates and please do not run out of ammo. Do not run out of ammo. I swear to God. Stop fucking missing. Hit, hit. Oh, no, you did you did some good damage. You just had to hit once and you're like 24k. 24%. Come on. Come on. Get a little fucking closer if you have to. Stop fucking missing. Oh, come on. Stop missing. You do like 24% per hit. Just keep fucking hitting. Using. Okay, what? Two more hits. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. There we go. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Now just go in there and kill them all. Okay. Enemy general's dead. Now everybody else, make sure they don't get the city center. Just, just do that. Just you sit here. You sit here. Kill everybody else. Just sit here long enough to win the fight. And then you, at least. Yeah, just break these guys. I think they'll just all give up. Come on. Not how I wanted to end this campaign. <laughs> I was originally hoping to do the whole war with uh, the Fatimids, but nope. Just everything had to go wrong. Okay, but there, we have now completed the campaign. <laughs> They're complete and utter bullshit. But hey, it works. I'd say it works. Exterminate. Beautiful. We won. Yeah, we're the worst people ever. Because we betrayed our allies that we've had for the longest time. I was like, this is what the map looks like now at this point? Oh my fuck. That is the map. That is the map. That is a disgusting map. The Mongols and the Portuguese. Poland actually rebuilt themselves rather nicely. I was kind of surprised by that. My allies are holding on with one city. Rus are holding on. Lithuania is doing well for themselves. France is still barely alive. My allies are getting their asses kicked. Fatimids did really well there. But no, I will, I will be done with this campaign. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, um, let me know down in the comments. I always love hearing what people's favorite aspects are of the campaign, so I'd love to hear what you guys had for this. Like, what was your favorite moments from this? I think for me, it was when I finally started being able to go counterattack against the, the Byzantines. No, actually, no. My favorite part was just the whole fact that I was kicked in the nuts immediately by the Byzantines. That, I found, was fucking hilarious, honestly. It made the campaign more difficult, but I loved it, honestly. That was by far the favorite thing, I think, thing for me. Or maybe just our, our horse archers once we finally got access to those guys. But I'll be done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this campaign, and I will be seeing you guys all next time.